And our stack is, uh, just to touch on that real quick, uh, Salesforce, Yesware, ClearSlide, Marketo, which plays in the marketing and the sales department. And uh, some of the reps use Rebump for email. And then, yeah, we use a host of PBX for telephony. But I'll go back to Chris, who's uh, one of our senior account executives. So here's a Chris's dashboard. Chris, Chris himself has this open all day, and he's looking at it to see kind of where, uh, where he is for the day, for the week, for the month. And so it's not even lunchtime out here in California today, and he's already got an activity score of 65 today. So he's, he's pacing to clear the 100 that he wants to achieve for the day. He's done one of two demos, which has earned him 20 points. He's scheduled two of three, uh, which has also earned him 20 points. He sent 11 emails and he has logged 35 out of 40 calls. So he's at activity score 65. And if you click on that, you can see uh, the more of the breakdown of the points. So this, this gives a lot of clarity to the reps. We have a culture here of accountability. And to be quite honest, we have limited management resources. We, uh, we don't have like a super strong manager uh, to rep ratio, but, but by having a tool like Ambition, uh, we can be crystal clear on what the expectations are and then give create transparency by giving the reps access to see where they stand at any given moment. And so they don't have to micromanage people. They can, they can truly micromanage themselves if that's the way you want to see it. We don't like to hound people about how many calls you made today. It's very apparent and obvious to everyone how many calls each person's made today. And we want to focus on uh, the outcomes and the activity that leads to those outcomes. So let's break down there. Uh, he can go back in time, see like, how did I do yesterday? Yesterday he got a 97, had a rough time scheduling meetings, but was able to complete two. Uh, looks like he had a hard time scheduling, but he overcompensated with logged calls, uh, which means he's probably tells me he was having a hard time connecting with, with owners yesterday. He's making plenty of calls, but couldn't get many connects. And therefore he uh, didn't get as many schedules as he'd like to, but at least he got two completed. And so you can go back and look at any one day. And this, this little chart up here shows over time. And you can click, click back in time to kind of see where scores. Now we're on September 9th. You go back to look to see. You can also look for trends. Like maybe Chris seems to really dip on every Friday or something like that. Maybe we can work with him on how he can improve his, his overall, overall activity on Fridays. Also, the month's objectives here for Chris. Uh, his goal of 12, he's, he's blown that out of the water this month. Probably need to increase Chris's quota. He's already at 22. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, his metrics here as well kind of broken down into place cards here to see how he stack ranks against uh, his colleagues so you can see he's first or second ah, he's got a couple thirds in there uh, SDR's demos complete doesn't really pertain to him but uh, so for the for the important metrics he's, he's pretty much at the top so I'm curious Drew I'm going to chime in real fast um, you know Chris seems to be a pretty solid account executive uh, what are his thoughts on the on the product? He said he checks it pretty often. Like, how does he engage with the product? Yeah, he lives in here. Uh, overall, for me as a manager, even though I like I love Salesforce.com and I understand it very well, I built out our initial instance as far as like triggers and validation rules and workflow automations. But the the simplicity of ambition, the way the simplicity of some, uh, ambition in a visual format, but the in depth reporting that it provides is much more user friendly than having to go find like which report was that where I see how many calls I made today and uh, what's the other report I look at or the dashboard where I can see all of this. This dashboard is just much easier uh, for him or, or any of our reps to, to follow and to live in and it, it shows more than just that single dashboard but other things is below like the goals. So all of our EEs have this open throughout the day to kind of track their progress. A lot of them don't even feel good about taking their lunch until they've reached at least 50 on their activity score because that's like I'm not really halfway to where I need to be today, so I'm not really ready to take that break. Um, but for us, it is very time zone dependent on what we can make calls because restaurants will scream at us if we try to call for meetings during lunch. Uh, but yeah. they, they do keep this open and they're staring at it all day to see like, all right, my own pace across that 100 marker when I leave the office today. Because another thing Ambition does is it sends out emails based on triggers. So I can say, okay, at the end of the day, send out an email to the entire sales leadership team and the entire organization, including our CEO, showing everybody who, who scored 100 or above on their activity today, and every rep wants to be on that email every day that the CEO is looking at. 